Hi, this is Paul from paulrobbie.com and this is a video for my expert algo vlog. Uh, this is ES on the five minutes. Uh, it's been traded all day today, really. Uh, signal came, first signals came in um, during the European morning uh, when I'm up and then we had a pullback, nice gentle pullback. And then when the markets opened in the US, we got another six star signal for a second entry. So I just want to go through those. So one of the main things we look at, remember, is our major support and resistance zones from the 60 minute time frame. They look something uh, like this. Let's go through here. So you'll see I've got support and resistance zones all over there, but right now I'm just interested in these two. Um, so let's go back to the five minutes. So one of the first things we look at as has it recently tested, which it did do, it came up through, we tested, we tested, and then we got a higher support level here, support zone. And then what we're looking for is sensible entry strategies when we get these five and six star buys. Uh, we wanna go along just uh, over this overnight high, really, the pivot 332550 three, was the first entry. Stop loss. Is always below the recent pivot just before the uh, the Axe Algo signals fell along there. So we had a nice entry into there just after the European markets opened. It was enough um, momentum within those European markets to push ES up. We had a then we had a nice gentle pullback. Nothing spectacular. Uh, always you know risk free at that stage. The trading stop was just above the entry. Then obviously we've got the US market opens here. Uh, you know, sensible entry for me, if we get any bullish momentum, is to get through this pivot that was formed during this first move during the European morning. We got the six star buy, we got the second entry. Pretty much, you know, the risk reward all the way up to this is just huge. Uh, and then um, obviously once we've got that big move, we always get a little settle. I did form a short term double bottom here. So trailing stop for me was 36675, locking in 144 ticks profit in ES for the day. Obviously not everybody can get that because nobody trades the European and the US markets like me, but there were still opportunities on ES. Uh, these all of these um, signals also came through on our discord group um, which um, basically sends those signals live into there for the indexes um, so hopefully uh, this helps you simple setup right time of the day get those signals make sure you got enough risk to reward and you got fresh air between those support and resistance zones and then you go and manage it sensibly one of the main things for me when I'm managing these trades is to make it risk free, let it move, let it pull back. If it takes you out, fine. If it gets a higher support level like it did here, it'll shoot off again. It'll make you a load of money. So uh, very, very simple. Just stick to the rules, support and resistance zones, sensible entry, sensible stop, good risk reward, go, especially with a five and a six star buy.